Before coming to Iran, I had a few concerns. I didn't know what to expect, but I thought that I was going to find a very backward country and that the government was going to have a very close eye on me just because I was a foreigner. However, since I arrived in Iran, I have felt safe and free to do and go whatever I want. I have been surprised by how welcoming the people are and how beautiful and modern the country is. This has been, without any doubt, one of the most fascinating journeys that I have had as a backpacker, exceeding all my expectations. Iranians uh, very like the love but, uh, than the fight. Love tourists. I love all the humans. It doesn't matter if you are American or Iranian or Persian or whatever. <laughs> Hello? To me? Oh, oh you want to do it to me? Okay. Mm -hmm. oh. Also has been very nice to take me to, to the holy shrine of Iman Khomeini. <laughs> yes. Ali and I are just going about to shake a minaret. Well, we cannot shake the minaret after all because there is a siesta. We don't know for how long the siesta lasts, but it seems that it goes almost the whole day. This is my teacher, who absolutely loves the number seven. <laughs> I can't really answer this. Oh, yeah, I tell the, your boyfriend, if you bothering in Iran, the girl, yeah, for example, and uh, the wife, no hit you. Only, and like the tiger, take you and hi, hi. 
antigua ciudad de Isfahan es el centro cultural de esta nación. Con alguna... I am exhausted. I'm at the top of the, one of the tower of silence and I'm dead. But Ali, on the other hand, seems to be doing really well. In the West. This thing is always going back and back and back. Inshallah, next time you see you in Tehran, video with the husband, well, no boyfriend, husband, you'll be sure I speak with the uh, Spanish video.